All right, everybody. We're excited. January 20th, live in Floresville, Texas at the Floresville Event Center. We have TMB Promotions bringing you a tremendous main event between two big heavyweight punchers, two guys that are both in a position right now uh, for a W, so you know they're both bringing heat. This is a fight that's been, people have been asking for, these two fighters have been asking for. We're here, uh, we're excited to be bringing a, a showcase, a, a fight just like this. It'll be for the ABO Heavyweight Championship. Myrie Coleman versus Tyrell Herndon, um, guaranteed action-packed night. Two big men letting their hands go. You never know what's going to happen. We're bringing you a live face-off right here. Everybody's been asking me. One of the main things I get asked is why do they hate each other so much? What's the beef? What started it? I personally can't tell you, but we're about to tell you right now. Uh, with that being said, we appreciate both guys being here. Uh, Myrie Coleman, Tyrell Herndon, please have a seat. Let's so get started. Ten rounds in the heavyweight division. Two guys, like I said, they're both in positions where that W means a lot right now. And uh, Myrie always puts on a hell of a show. He's a big puncher, guy that comes to fight, has some big wins on his resume. Tyrell Herndon, same thing. Um, it's been a lot of talk, a lot of back and forth. We're here. We're in a position now where someone's mouth just got to shut up. The talking's done. Two great fighters going to get in the ring for you guys January 20th. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and start off with the question. I mean, both of y'all can be the first to answer, whoever wants to answer it. Um, how did the beef start? What, what, what's been going on? I'll let the challenger a answer first. Uh -huh. See, this motherfucker is delusional. He's talking about challenger. One thing I learned is hate come from below. So he's seen my success, and, and he's trying to piggyback off of it. But I'm going to throw him on my back come the night of the 20th and put him on his back. Pretty, sounds pretty good. Sounds pretty good. Um... I mean, I'm already on top. Can't really say I hate him. I, ju I just strongly dislike him. Uh, he's just someone that can't beat me. He lived in Tex. He lives in Texas. I used to live in Texas, so shit, I want to show you who who's the man around here. There's a new sheriff in town, and it's me, the Pink Panther. Yeah, uh, he hasn't fought anybody. I'll be his first test, and uh, it's it's set for ten rounds. But I guarantee you, won't go ten. I guarantee you that. And he know it. Yeah, that sounds real cute, man. Uh, you yeah. you sound a real confident talking that shit too, but when, when the bell starts and the bell rings, you're going to find out it's two different levels. Two different levels. This shit going to come way too fast for you, boy. And don't just stand there. Mm. Give the fans what they want to see. This is, this, you, talked in, you talked your way into this fight. Yeah, so I got exactly the what fan, I want. You got exactly what exactly you want. So what give I want. the fans what they want to see. Because I'm going to. I'm going to. Fans, my advice to you is don't blink. Don't blink. Please don't blink. We had, a, we had an incident recently, right, where me as a promoter, I said, okay, you know, Myrie really, it means business. You Absolutely. flew from Florida Absolutely. to San Antonio. Some people were like, he really do that. He flew yeah. from Florida to San Antonio. You sat in the TMB gym. You went Facebook Live looking for Tyrell. Yeah, it's hunting season. You feel the weather out there? It's hunting season. I'm, I'm a panther. I'm trying to eat. I want a, little, a nice little... Healthy meal over there called Mr. Too Real. We're going to see how real he is. So, hey, I, I pulled up to his gym. He wasn't there. Probably don't train. Maybe he just won't train that day. I doubt it. Look at him. He don't even look like he in shape, do he? I can't wait. Tyrell, Whew. for you as, as a fighter, what was there anything in particular from my recommend that made you? Keep in mind, man, you were, you were really persistent about this fight. You really wanted this fight. It wasn't a fight you had to take. But you wanted this fight. You said, you know what? Let's do it. You said, people are asking for the fight. Let's do it. You've always been that kind of guy. What is it, though, that made this fight different? What is it that made him get, I wouldn't want to say under your skin, but really touch that button to bring that Tyrell out? Like you said, um, I mean, whatever name slides across, I'm one that doesn't duck it. No matter what anybody would say, um, I don't duck it. And uh, his name sliding across the way that he came, I feel like this is just making a statement for, for the new era of beef or what they call it, this trolling shit. This is what people get off on. They get off on somebody flying from Florida to come troll you at a gym and, um, that you're not training at at the moment and make it seem like you're running from him and he doesn't train and this and that. This is that, that Jake Paul kind of trolling era, and I'm here for it. So 
I'm looking to on the 20th to make a big statement, letting them know that, letting them know that that trolling shit. I'm gonna check that shit at the door. Tyrell, what you gotta realize is I don't have nothing to gain, man. I got everything to lose. I'm already the man. I'm, I'm, I'm actually in the position that you want to be in, in and outside of boxing. And it, and what's funny is your your uh, manager, trainer, who, whoever that guy is, Thomas, I think is his name. I don't know his name. He uh he has a lot to say, but he can't fight for you. You know he 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 strongly hates me too. I love him. I love that he hates me. You know, just get in line with all, with all the other people that hate me. But and, and, uh, unless y'all jumping me, that's that's the only way you got a chance. The only the only way. The only way. So so to to ad lib on that, right? Uh, I feel like people live in a world of certain people live in a world of you know delusion and being delusional, right? So. Half the shit that you say isn't fact check. I mean, I I, I seen some shit sent where you said that I'm a broke boy. Anybody that knows too real knows I'm no broke boy. Took Roly check on my wrist. A foreign outside. Supposedly you drive one. So you can't. You can, if you're gonna if you wanna speak that shit, really talk that shit. And know what you're talking about. So, fact check number one. I'm far from a broke boy, and anybody that knows too real knows that. Outside of that, I'm in a position. You're in a position. I want to be dog. I'm in no position that you are, that, that I'm in no position that I would want to be in as far as you because come the 20th, as we get closer, all this talk, all this cute shit right here, that shit's over. And when that bell rings, your ass is mine, dog. And, and, and I can say it as convincing or as, or as soft, soft-spoken as possible. But when that bell rings, there's nothing that's going to save you. Brother can't jump in. Rick won't jump in. Only person that's going to be in the middle is me, and the, me you, and that ref. And, and you, would, you would hope that the ref is going to say the, the fucking domination that I'm going to bring your way. You can laugh all you want. This is, this is a cute, this is a cute my, segment. My, my question to you is, do you believe the that? The way that mic feel is the way you're going to fall, boy. Do, do you believe that? I know that. Jesus Christ. Belie- no believing that, is of those that knowing, and I know that. I know that. that. Back. Sorry about that. Little technical difficulties. Attention's real, guys. January 20th, the Floyd's Event Center. Get your tickets to fight you can't miss. Tyrell, real quick, he said something. He said you ain't fought nobody like him. What is it that you think, in his mind, that he feels makes him different from all the other opponents you faced? Delusional. You know what I'm saying? I, I, how, I, how can someone state I've fought no one like him, and every time I've stepped up, yeah, I haven't succeeded, but I, I got three, three Olympians on my, three Olympians on my, on my resume. Uh, some of the fighters that I fought haven't had upside down records. So, I mean, it, it just goes on foreign territory. I mean, you, you name it, you know what I'm saying? But like I, like I stated before, this is the era of trolling and I get it, you know what I'm saying? But like I say, I, I'm, I'm here to hit that gavel. I'm the judge to where I'm gonna let it be known that that shit is getting checked at the door. Tyrell, I'm gonna retire you, man. You probably won't fight after me, the way I'm gonna embarrass you. I really, I really hope you know in your heart that any amount of training that you're going to put into this camp or that you may have put in this far is going to be a complete waste of your life. When you step in that ring, dog, your ass is mine. And I hope you make it last long for the fans. I really do. The fans, you... I hope, are, are you going to last? I hope, I hope you question. do. Are you I hope you last. do. You think well, you're going to last? Do you think... I know. No, I, no. I don't think. Thinking is for those of not knowing. All I right. know I'm going to last. Okay. Are you going to last? How many people are going to be in there? Y'all going to jump me? That's the only way you're going to have a chance. You ain't got no gas. You ain't going to last. Straight up. You ain't got a chance, Tyrell. Make sure you put your miles in. I'm ready right now. Make sure you put your miles in, man. Okay. We're going to see. We I want to ask you, I wanna ask you a similar question I just asked him. What is it in your mind that makes you so confident when you say he's never faced someone like you? What do you think you bring to the table that's different from the guys he's fought? For one, I already beat his mind. You know, I, look, how, look how I made the fight happen. I already beat him in his mind. His mind ain't even in it. And then look at him. He ain't in shape. I ain't talking about muscular. He just he just looks soggy, like some soggy, wet ass biscuits or something. He ain't. This is I'm I'm a different type of person, man. I'm I'm a different type of person. There's a reason why he took this fight. It ain't about records. There's a reason why. He know. So and also I want to tell the fans this before we had technical difficulties. A little bit of this comes from uh, I don't know if his manager or trainer, whoever the guy Thomas. I I get a phone call. Right, it's funny because I'm I'm at I'm getting gas. I get a phone call via social social media, getting offered to fight Tyrell on two weeks' notice. 
Now, history shows that I wanted to fight Tyrell a while back, but it didn't happen. I understand. It's boxing. It, it comes to the territory. So they offered me a fight to fight Ty Ty Tyrell within two weeks. I wanted in shape to take that fight where I wanted to. I asked him how much money. I'm not sure. He threw out some numbers that wasn't pleasing on, on a two weeks notice fight for me. So uh, the way his manager was talking to me, like I was just a straight pushover. He was like, well, we're just trying to like just really get an easy win because we're going to fight for a big fight in December. Fast forward, somehow he ends up fighting uh, Richard Torres, a former Olympian, uh, and he didn't look too well. He lost the fight. Nothing against it. It comes to the territory. But me being me, I, I take notice. Oh, he just lost a fight. I don't care who he fought. He just lost a fight. So I mentioned it, and they try to say, oh, well, he wanted to uh, kick Tyrell when he's down because he just fought. He just lost. It ain't had nothing to do with that. It comes simple disrespect. You call me on a two weeks notice and then try to, like, lowball low me money-wise and, and talk to me like I'm a chicken dinner, like I ain't a winner. Like, you, you, I'm the type of guy you can't come to like that. You could have called anybody else, but you called me. It didn't work out, and that's that. So from the disrespect from that phone call on some two weeks notice, lowballing me like I'm just somebody that's need a couple of dollars, nah. So he ended up fighting Richard Torres, and now he fighting me. So we gonna see. And with that, be, with that being said, I think it's only right. I mean, you you are making eye contact that way. I'll give him a brief minute, really quick. We'll get back with the fighters, but I will let Thomas come up here and defend himself on that conversation if you want. You're more than welcome just so we can, like I said, because the fans are asking about what's going on, so we can just lay this out now. Um, just wanted to say, two weeks notice, my black ass. Bitch, it was a month. It's right here on the fucking text. I gave you my fucking address. You never fucking showed up. To, to, to shoot to, to shoot you're, you? You're a bitch. See, see, you are a bitch. See, y see, th th see, this is where it ain't got nothing to do with boxing. No, this this, this guy's something to do with man and man. I'm a fucking man, so you're going to watch who the fuck right you're talking here, to. That's what I'm saying. Right here, I ain't got nothing to do with that. I'm talking to you. Point blank. Okay, point that's point what it better be. You better put it on him because the, the difference is you talking to me and I'm a man. That's what you got to realize. Because, see, when, when we talked, we was on the phone, man. We was on the phone. Thomas, listen, listen. All right. We was on the phone. All right. We was on the phone. Don't, don't, don't talk to the now, ain't nobody talking. I'm just saying. You either way, you're either talking way, to a man. Like, this is outside the box. Either way, we laid that first step out the way. That's how it all started. Correct, Mary? So that's how it started. With the fight is here. The it's fight here. is here. People are excited. Again, the question for me is the first time I've ever done this in 11 years because people are scratching their heads. They're, they're excited. They don't know what's going on. This was the best way to give the fans, the, the supporters out there, to let you guys what is going on. Uh, Tyrell, real quick, I, I, I want to ask you, do you have a flat prediction for this fight? Is there something you you know in your mind that you think is pretty much you can, confidence going to happen? I'll, I'll say this. Up, up until, up until the, the moment of the fight being announced or even making this fight, there's been no disrespect for me. And you can say that. There hasn't been no disrespect. So whatever happened on the outside leading up into this, it, it's here now and this is what it is. But come the 20th, you're going to feel all the disrespect. That, that disrespect is going to be mine. I can't wait. That disrespect is going to be mine. As far as prediction, uh, Rick, it ain't going 10. That's one thing me and, me and Pink Panther over here can agree on. Yep. We can agree on it's not going 10. And, and I, look forward, I, I look forward for this to be the fastest approaching fight I've ever had in my life. Because the, the dominating performance I plan on putting on for y'all, like I say, with this being my last one, y'all are, are going to bask in this for a while. This is, this is going to be... It's gonna be fan friendly for sure. So I hope his I hope his tank is there. The same way he's screaming my tank, I hope his tank is gonna be there because if not, we're gonna drown him out. Mm. And I, I gotta ask you, Tyrell, from someone coming from working with you, obviously, right? It's not a secret. I can say I really never seen. I mean, it's probably something I've been waiting for. We I've never seen you so anxious, so excited, so confident. It's about fear. a fight. That's fear. <laughs> um, so so excited to get in there, you know, and, and prepare and, and, and go to battle with this man. Um, I got to say, I mean, the, the fans are the winners. January 20th, right? January 20th, the fans are for sure the winner. Um, the winner. He's saying it's fear. At that point, you can think what you want to think, man. Mm -hmm. uh, last week, I took a trip to Columbia uh, to, to polish this new arsenal I'm coming with. It worked out amazing. And the same way I came in, finishing them in the second round, 
It's the same way I'm coming on the 20th with this different individual of the Pink Panther. And uh, I can't tell you how it will finish, but like I say, on the agreement, it's not going 10. So get your, get your popcorn, get your snacks, your hot dogs, your glizzies, everything in attendance. So, cause when that main, when that main event, uh, event bell rings, I mean, it's, it's literally lights, camera, action. Mary, I gotta ask you. Myrie Coleman, Myrie Coleman. Tear my name up. I gotta ask you. I, I think you've given us pretty much a prediction throughout this whole conversation, but I do wanna ask you, what can the fans expect for people that haven't seen you fight, that are pretty much hearing just vocally who you are, getting to know you from this show we're doing here, what can they expect from the Pink Panther on January 20th? Well, I wanna give you my prediction first. My prediction is pain. That's it, just pain. But what you can expect from me, you can expect from me to swim without getting wet. I guarantee you that. He's right, it won't go 10, uh, and he, he doesn't have a chin. Um, that's it. I'm gonna have fun. Oh man, I'm gonna be pretty and pink. You gonna get your ass kicked by a grown man wearing pink. God, that's your, and, you, and then this, this your last fight too, I ain't know that. I know I'm gonna retire you, but this your last fight prior to me retiring you? You think you're gonna retire me? You funny, man. Oh man, you funny. You more delusional than oh, I thought you were. Man, oh, oh and earlier you <coughs> mentioned you, you got a phone. That's your Mazi outside. You got one too, right? Yeah, I'm saying, but you got a base model though. But it's you still a Mazi though. So, so it's still a Mazi though. So I mean, the, it's still so a Mazi. So let me ask you this then. I'm so, sorry. so since we're taking it there, the <laughs> I'm bent, just the, saying. I, the, I, the, I just the, thought about the that. The Bentley I got coming in next month. How you gonna That's top nice. that? You want me? You want me to screenshot that after this loss and, and send it to you and let you look at my picture while you cry? Do it, do it, please. I will. I'm gonna see. I'll at least try to make you feel somewhat better knowing that this ass sitting in that interior leather is, is the one that fucking dropped you and it's gonna be you're gonna nice. sit there. I might retire you. Hey, we're gonna see. But check this out. You did speak on uh, you fought last weekend in Columbia. Um, the nigga was five and, and, four. And, and the motherfucker I fought was seven and three. In Columbia, fighting S people that work seven, at gas stations. Seven is, you crazy. The motherfucker was five Seven and four. three, and those motherfuckers got heart. So, so I mean, you're crazy. You're crazy. This dude right here would have walked the floor with you. He didn't swing but he three times. Yeah, from what you've seen, or what you may have seen. <laughs> That's what I was told. I ain't see it. I, I mean, for, yeah, so get, fact check. You once said again, it to me so I can see it. Fact, fact check. Once you get it right, I mean... <laughs> Come on, man. How you gonna disrespect uh, real, real shit? How you gonna disrespect a man that's in the same sport as you with a better record? I don't understand. Are it. you proud of that? Am I proud of that? Yeah, honestly. Am I proud of that? Yeah. Anyone I get stepping in the fucking uh, in the ring, I'm proud of everything. I'm proud of all these accomplishments. I'm my own walking story. How tall are you? And I'm gonna add you. I'm gonna add you to my story. Come the twentieth. How tall are you? How tall am I? Yeah. Does it matter? The motherfucker was five four. I'll come at you at five two with the same. You fought, heart. You fought a kid. You fought a kid in Columbia if, with, a, with we, a good record. If we, if we line that fight up, you wouldn't make it past the first. Why you go to Columbia? Why? Well, don't listen. Meet me in Floresville, Texas, January 100%, 20th. Hundred percent. And it's gonna be hundred percent. And I'm gonna hundred percent, dog. I'm gonna be kicking your ass in pink. Bring this, bring this same energy, dog. Oh, it's gonna be worse. Oh. it's gonna be worse. And, and you know why? Y'all, y'all heard Because I don't, I don't fuck with you or him. That. And see, don't, I, don't. I, I want to fuck him up outside the ring, but I'm gonna fuck but him see, up first. But see, hey y'all, if y'all are smart and y'all really peeping this shit. I'm in his head because he's talking oh, about you don't fuck with him or fuck oh, with me. I don't care nothing about that. It's your whole I know, team. I know, the I know the performance I'm bringing, and y'all don't want to miss that shit. Y'all know how two real comes. I'm coming times 10. I'm coming times 10. So check all that funny, cute shit at the door. Sounds good. Pretty in pink. You're going to see. 100%. I do this. 100%. I want to give a shout out to Rick for making this happen because Rick could have took an easier route. You know, Rick's a pretty cool promoter out here, out here in San Antonio. Um, the fight is in Floresville on January 20th, though. And um, I hear that uh, Tyrell is one of the uh, elite heavyweights out here. So, hey, I only want to fight the best. So we're going to make this happen. Um, yeah, January 20th, Pink Panther versus uh, this guy over there. Yeah, so like he said, put some respect on my name. Two Real versus Pink Panther. I always put my name before yours, and I'm going to show you that shit. Outside of that, yeah, I want to thank Rick. I want to thank not only is a great trainer, he's a he's a tremendous promoter. Uh, doesn't get his roses enough, so I do want to I do want to take a, a page out of his book and actually give him give him his respects. He uh, he does a phenomenal job with these shows, um, and I'm I'm gonna go a step further and give you a give you a, a, a page on his book on why he fights in pink. He said that he had a survivor of, of breast cancer. So like I told him when I met him when he told him he, when I told him he had to get uh, past my dog Ruru heavyweight shit. 
if you beat Ruru, you can come see me. You didn't make it past Ruru, but that's another story. But he fights for a cause, and, and, and that as well I can honor, because I know that people are fighting fights way, way more severe and way more tragic than this. So that right there, I can also lay my hat off to. But outside of that, there is no respect. Outside of that, there is no respect. And, and January 20th, uh, like I said, show up, and I'm gonna show you why when it comes to this local shit, too real is that dude. Outside of elevating to the higher level, I still gotta find my place and do my job. But when it comes to this local shit, any heavyweight out there, too real is that guy, and y'all know that. So. Like I say, that's January 20th. I feel like the more you say it, you just try to make yourself believe it. But let me ask you something with my Mr. Too Real. Uh, are you in shape right now? How do I fight last week and I'm not in shape? Even if I'm not, even if I'm not in shape, dog, I purposely might from this point start eating fucking McDonald's, uh, Bill Miller's, Whataburger, so I can come in 30 pounds heavier and still dominate your ass. Yeah, I'm about to go on I don't vacation. want no excuses. I don't want no excuses. Yeah, I'm about to go on vacation. I don't want to hear your shoulder I'm was fucked shape. up. Mm -mm. I don't want to hear nothing. Oh, I'm, I'm ready. Okay. You best believe that. Y'all hear that? I'm ready. Best believe that he's ready. Less than 30 days away. I can't wait. Pretty in pink. I can't wait. Mm. Boy, boy, boy. Oh, ain't no rematch clause. You really... <laughs> I'm just telling. Ain't, ain't no rematch clause. Certain things you don't. Certain things you don't entertain. Okay, it's, it's real though, man. This is real, boy. Hey, everyone know I'm a clown, but I'm I'm realer than a two dollar bill. This is real, man. You don't know how bad I wanted this. Oh, I'm gonna tell y'all this too. So before I moved to Texas a couple years ago, I was at a show because I'm a big boxing fan and a boxer outside of being. Uh, I'm a fan outside of being a boxer, and I seen this guy fight and. Jesus, I, I didn't know the trash came on Saturday that late at night when he was in the ring. It was horrible. And I was like, well, you know, he's in my weight class, so, you know, anybody in my weight class can get it. I don't care who you are. So I was like, try to give him the benefit of the doubt. He fought maybe two or three times more after that, and it was the same trash. It's like, I ain't no trash come out on Saturday at that late at night when you get in the ring. It's just horrible. So it's like, let me put him on blast. Let me get in the ring with him and kick his ass and show him that Texas has a new sheriff in town. There's one thing you can say about this dude. Uh, I mean, he, he comes in, he's confident in what he says. The bullshit that comes out of his mouth is funny. And, and hopefully to y'all it's not believable. But, I mean, he it, it has a good delivery, clean delivery, no hiccup, to where it almost sounds believable. But it's, it's pure trash, it's unbelievable. And, and like I, I can't say enough, you're talking about less than 30 days. I can't wait, my dick help. I'm, I'm, I'm ready for this shit. I'm ready for this shit, and it's stopping it, everything in me right now. Is, is 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 I'm trying to stop myself from not giving them a taste of what's to come. But why wait? Some things are better left wait, better left to wait. So I'm gonna let y'all wait and ponder on it. But y'all that really know, y'all know that I'm gonna take out the trash come 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 the Saturday, the night of January 20th, and that's a fact. That's a fact. There's nothing this dude's gonna do. There's nothing that this dude has trained for. That's gonna stop me from coming at him with the, the most violent and pure intent, the most crazy tenacity. There's nothing he's gonna do. There's no, there's no training he's put in that's gonna be worth it. He's wasting every second, every minute of his life. You might as well just sit there and wait for the date. You're trash, man. Yeah, okay. Spell it. With that being said, guys, January 20th, Floresville, Texas, at the Floresville Event, event Center for the ABO Heavyweight Championship, Myrie Coleman, the Pink Panther, We'll be facing off against Tyrell Two Real Herndon in a 10 round clash. We got nine, uh, nine fights on the undercard. It's a stack card. It's going to be an exciting night. Floresville, Texas is the place to be. Big shout out to our sponsor, Nathaniel Mack at the Mack Law Injury Firm. Big thank you to Jeremy Westons out there in Westons Trucking. Um, Clinton Wyatt, Heather Wyatt, uh, White Veterinary in Floresville, Texas. All you guys out there that, that, uh, that support. These events, we appreciate you guys. Floresville, Texas, we got a fight. This was made just for you fans to see. This is this is really going down. We'll see everybody out there in Floresville, Texas. And real quick, I shout out to my, my sponsors as well. Uh, Nathaniel Mack, appreciate you, man, and Peace Patron. Appreciate y'all. I'm going to give a shout out to uh, Al Heyman. Everybody do that. I ain't, I ain't never met him. I just always wanted to say that shit.